Hey friends, so welcome to another video. This time it's a bit technical as I created SMS alerts for my GitHub Actions. So having been DevOps engineer in the past, I know how important it is to have alerts set up for your CI CD pipelines. So since everything for my personal website, blog, podcast resides in GitHub Actions, that's how I you know build and deploy stuff. I decided to have SMS alerts using Twilio in order to receive alerts whenever the build or CI CD job fails. So yeah, let's jump into the demo. And here you can see I have a test repo that we created. And I also have my Twilio account uh, right here. So if you sign up for a Twilio account, you get $10 of credit. So you would need a phone number an account SID and also the auth token. And I'll also link down how you can sign up for a Twilio account. But yeah, moving on. Um, so here we have our repo cloned and I'll go ahead and create a new workflow. So the GitHub actions, uh, they are in .github folder in your repository under workflows. So we'll create one here called build.yaml and what I want to do is I'll just paste a hello world github action so as you can see in a normal circumstance so let's say it's my website I would have a CI CD uh, github action that builds my website and then also you know deploys it to whatever environment I have and we're trying to use a GitHub action here, but it only says hello world. It doesn't build anything or deploys anything, but it just says hello world. And what I wanna do now is, if you go back to GitHub Actions Marketplace, you can see there is a Twilio SMS GitHub action, which we could utilize to send a notification whenever our CI CD job fails. So this is what we'll use to set up our SMS alerts. So as you can see, it does say you need a Twilio account and you can sign up for free. You'll get $10 in credit. And then you also need a Twilio API key and a secret. So I'll link these down below because I don't want to reveal my you know, API keys and stuff. Um, but you can see here's a simple action we have that you can create. So let's go ahead and add it under our CI CD step that we already have. So after running our one line script that says echo hello world, what we'll do is we'll have a job or a step. So we'll have a step that would we'll name it build alerts because it's you know alerting us about whatever the build is. And then according to the documentation or we saw in the Twilio SMS GitHub action, it uses this and then you need a from number, a to number, and then the message. And then you also need the environment. So let me just copy this. And what we'll do is we'll paste it underneath our step of build alerts. So build alerts uses Yep, that seems right. And then we have, so one thing that I did is instead of displaying my Twilio number and also my personal phone number, I've used, you know, the GitHub secrets to store those values so that since my repo is public, anybody can look up my number. So instead of, you know, displaying it publicly, I've used secrets for that too. And then also for a message, what I have done is instead of just saying hello from Twilio, which we have here, I have included is a GitHub job. So it would have the job name uh, from GitHub Actions and then also the repository name along with the status of the job. So in our case, it would if it would have failed, it will send that alert. If it has passed, it would send that alert. But the thing is I don't need SMS alerts for any of the past jobs or successful jobs. I only need it for the jobs that have failed. So what we'll do is add a condition 
in our step here so if and then we can specify a value here which is failure so you can read more about this but you can basically specify if our github action fails only then this step will run otherwise this step won't run which is what i want to achieve right so we have a build alerts step now which uses you know twilio sms action that we saw in the marketplace we have a from number to a number a message which includes the github job id it also has uh, the repository and the status of the job which would be failure in our case and then we have the environment variables which are again stored as secrets in the github repo for the twilio account sid api key and the secret key and if i go over the actual workflow it is a ci cd step but it only so if anything is pushed to main branch or there is a pull request that is merged to main uh, this action will run but it only says echo world or echo hello world so it, it will only say hello world so if we save this and commit this saying added build dot yaml and if we push the changes to the repo it should trigger a github action so our build.yaml action should run we named it ci cd step so if we go into our repository here and go to actions you can see it is running that ci cd step right now and if we see the build has passed because it did echo hello world and I didn't receive any text message because the build passed. So what I want to do is set a status code of one, which would mean that the job has failed. So there are different exit codes that you can set in the GitHub actions. I am deliberately asking it to fail with setting that status right now, which way I can demonstrate that I did receive a text whenever the job fails. So added exit code one. So we'll save this file, make sure we include and we commit. And then we push our changes. So now if we look at our jobs here under actions, we can see that it's queued and it's running that build job and you can see it's did echo hello world but it also said the process completed with an exit code one and then it also ran the sms alert so if we look at my phone here real quick and you can see I just received a text saying, you know, my job has failed for, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but it does say today at 3.05, the build job for Rishabh Kumar 7, GitHub Actions SMS alert, which is the repo, has a status of failure. So there you go. Um, we have configured SMS alerts for any of the GitHub actions that would fail. I hope you enjoyed the demo. I'll make sure to include the repository and also the links to, you know, how to sign up for a Twilio account and then also how to create Twilio API and secret key. And uh, I'm also writing a blog post, so it's easier to implement the code. But yeah, that was the demo. Hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next one.